you know, when the rates, when they go up, the property prices go down and the yields increase because the, the rent doesn't necessarily go yeah. down with yeah. the property price, right? So, yeah, I mean, if we see the interest rate market come down over the next you know, year or two, then I think the yields will also come down slowly. So that's why I, I still believe that now is a great time to buy for most investors if you're buying wisely. Yeah. So, you know, yes, cost of borrowing is, is expensive, but if you're buying the right property, if you're buying the right property with the right fundamentals, you, you can't really go, go too wrong. All right, I'm Andrew from Mortgage HQ and I've got Ziyang here. He's our top advisor and we're here to talk about how being an advisor has helped shape his investing. Yeah. So you're a very successful mortgage advisor. You're one of the top advisors in the country. You've been with us six years now. You're helping hundreds of clients every year. How have your clients helped shape your own property investing? Yeah, I guess it humbles me to see all the different clients that I can that I, I work with all, you know every day, every every week. I see clients from all walks of life, you know, from their first home, even saving with their first home to, you know, investors that that might have, you know, 40, 50 properties. So yeah, it's uh, insane, eh? Some people have so many properties. <laughs> so yeah, I guess um just learning how people get to where they are. Yeah. Is, yeah, it's quite enlightening. So yeah, I mean, like obviously I'm also on the path somewhere in between where I've described. So it's just understanding how people have got to the next step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you think is the best part about being a mortgage advisor? Yeah, the best part I would say is being able to genuinely be part of someone's decision making around their investments, investment strategies. Yeah. Because you know, one bad investment. So if you do, if you make one bad investment, that can, yeah, it can be very costly, and a lot of clients come to us who have already made that wrong decision. <laughs> With a different advisor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or no <So>. advisor. <laughs> Even worse, no advisor. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I would say, yeah, being able to offer that advice before they make that decision is, yeah, definitely the most rewarding thing. Well, they yeah. might kind of dovetail into like what's the hardest part or worst part about being a mortgage advisor. Yeah, I guess the hardest part is um, you're at the mercy of the banks. Yeah. Because you might think it's a good deal and – with a bank and the bank might say no. So it's really just disappointing clients. You know, there's that and also there might be people who have unrealistic expectations that you can't meet. So you can do your best. You might believe that you've done your absolute best, but at the end of the day, it's still not enough for the clients. So yep. yeah, that's, I would say the, the worst part. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to say calls at eight o'clock in the morning, or calls on the weekend <laughs> or calls when you're on holiday. Yeah. You've had a few associates. You've got a few associates under you at the moment. Yep. You're, you're training them. Can you you know, tell us about your approach and your expectations, yeah. timelines for for training someone up to be an advisor? When it comes to hiring, I definitely look at people who have the right attitude, just go getters. We don't necessarily need someone who has the, you know, the skill set. Originally, they can learn it in the job, but what I believe that can't be taught is the attitude yeah. and the mindset. So yeah, I mean, we've got some young guys in, in our team now who you know who don't have much work experience, but they have the right mindset and the right attitude. We believe that they're going to go very far. So yeah, I guess my approach is just getting them, getting the right people first in the door. And then once they're in the door, throwing them in the deep end, you know, getting them to do all the- <laughs> On all the, the phone, first day. First day, yeah. All the hard, do all the hard calls, you know, get, get rejected by clients. But that's character building, I would say. Yeah. 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 And, and timelines? Timelines, it depends on the individual, but typically- I would say the quicker someone will become an advisor is a year. Right? Yeah. Because there's a lot to learn, right? Even if you're an advisor at a different firm, coming to our company, it's a whole different ecosystem. The volume is exactly yeah. and, and the way we sort of talk to our clients, because we're not just here to get a loan, where there's a lot of other things that we sort of yeah. you know, we our approach is a little bit different. So usually a year. But, you know, anywhere but within two years is, is reasonable. Like I think I I was here for two years before I became an advisor. Yeah. Yeah, certainly if somebody's already accredited, I think three to six months they can get up and running. Yeah. But in terms of making the volume they want to make, yeah. it's probably nine to 12 months. Yeah. And if you are not accredited and you've never been a mortgage advisor, even if you've been a banker, yeah. still probably nine, 12 months nine, before 12 months. you become accredited. And yeah. then yeah. once you become accredited, it's not like you just magically know the volume. Exactly. Just hit, yeah. Exactly. And, and the thing is, um, it doesn't, goal shouldn't be to become an advisor. The goal should be to become a great advisor. So sometimes it might take you longer to get there. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, there's no shame in doing it longer than longer than twelve months, learning the learning the ropes and Yeah, it's kind of a five year plan. Yeah. By the time you get to five years, you 
you, you should have been a great advisor for a year or two, yeah. but you might just be only hitting your strides after yeah. you know year four or five. Yeah. And then that kind of from year five to 10, yeah. you're helping a lot of people yeah. and your income can be very high. Yeah, yeah. I guess it, it gets easier in the start when you don't have the momentum, that's the hardest. Yeah. But once you've done a few years, you've got clients referring your business and you know, you've got your professional network referring your business, that gets a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of what, what you think makes a successful advisor, yeah. what do you what do you think in terms of passions and, and work ethic and Yeah. So like I said, you in our company at least you need to be very passionate about property investing. But to be a successful advisor and to do the volume, you need a bit of everything. You don't have to be a, a specialist in one area, hmm. but you need to have, you know, good sales skills. You need to have good administrative skills, you need to have credit knowledge. You need to have decent work workload capacity. <laughs> yeah. You need to have, yeah, property knowledge. So there's a lot of things that, that you need. You don't necessarily have to be the absolute best in yeah. any of those fields. 100 emails a day. Yeah. <laughs> 20 calls at least a day. Yeah. Yeah. You need to do the, the volume. Yeah. yeah. And when it comes to settling, mm -hmm. no, you often people settle yeah. one, two, three million dollar mortgages that if you get it wrong, could yeah. end up costing them a lot of money. Yeah. 100%, yeah, so that's… Attention to detail. That is, is also yeah. quite important, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's certainly a job as a professional service job right up there with law and accounting yep. and yep. In, in terms of the evolution of advisory in, in New yep. Zealand, you know, yep. we're certainly moving away from people that just broker a loan to yep. a true financial advisor. 100%, yeah. Cool, all right, thanks, Steve. Yeah. <clears throat> If you want to get in touch with Ziyang, he's on the website. And if you're thinking about a career in mortgage advisory, let us know. Cool. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks, Thanks for having me.